Now that we've mounted our image down onto the substrate, we can overlaminate it with one of the many overlaminating films that we manufacture. In this instance, we're going to be using the satin matte finish, and we need to cut a piece of the film larger than the print on three sides, around about half an inch or 15 millimeters, and on the lead edge, approximately one inch or 25 millimeters. We then fold back approximately one inch of the release liner again, or 25 millimeters, and again put a crease in the release liner. Now, where I've just put a crease in the release liner, the likelihood is, and this, on this area of exposed adhesive, is that we'll have finger marks or uh, marks into the adhesive. So we actually start the laminate on the scrap piece of board, hence that the board is larger than the print. Again, position it, making sure that it covers the print. Tap down the leading edge, again smoothing it out from the centre. We can then offer the board, print and laminate up to the rollers, again making sure that it's parallel. Catch the first inch again into the rollers. This time we need slightly more pressure when you're laminating than when you're mounting. So we'll increase the pressure by approximately half a turn again. The laminate this time goes over the top, again is kept tight against the top roller. We take the tack rag, making sure that the print is nice and clean. And the beeping that you hear is actually me interrupting the magic eye or the safety eye. So we've cleaned the print down. We pull the release liner up, again over the top of the roller, and we're going to go over and down. And we'll send the print through. Again, pulling the release liner away and down so that we've now laminated the print. The final stage of this process is to cut off the excess substrate. The best way to do this is using the big purple ruler, line it up with the edge of the print, taking your cutting knife and score, increasing the pressure, turn it round again, line it up with the edge of the print, score, increase the pressure, and you're through. You now have the finished print